دلوقتي هنبتدي باول ابروتش ذا ميديال ابروتش تو ذا ديستال فيمر واحنا مختارين الابروتش ده بالذات لان الانترو لاترال تقدر تفتح على الانترو لاترال او لاترال ابروتش تو ذا ديستال فيمر كلكم فاميليار بيه وكلكم بتعملوه فوي تشوز ذا ميديال ابروتش ديستال فيمر لان الميديال ابروتش ديستال فيمر له سم يوزز والناس مش اورينتد بيه فهنبتدي اول حاجه بالانديكيشنز اوف ذا ميديال ابروتش اوف ذا ديستال فيمر كل ترابيزه عندها سكرين جنبها هتلاقوا معروض عليها الكلام لو جات لك حاله زي دي زي اللي انتوا شفتوها امبارح في المحاضرات هتثبتها من اني ابروتش الحاله دي ايه رايكم؟ الحالات اللي زي دي اللي هي الميديال هوف فراكشرز دي وحالات ثانيه كتير هتشوفوها في الانديكيشنز فده اول انديكيشن للميديال ابروتش اوف ذا ديستال فيمر اول حاجه اللي هي بارشل ارتيكولر ميديال فراكشرز هوف فراكشرز ودي الحاله ومتثبته من ميديال ابروتش الاذر انديكيشن ده اكزامبل تاني لو عايزين نحط بليت ميديال الاذر انديكيشن از ان انستيبل فراكشر انتر كونديلر وانتر ارتيكولر ومعاها ميديال كومبوننت ما ينفعش يتثبت فروم لاترال زي اللي باين في سي تي عندكم هنا ده حله الوحيد ان احنا نفتح كمان اسوشيتد ميديال ابروتش تو ديستال فيمر الحاجه الثالثه لو احنا عايزين اكسس النيورو فاسكولار باندل او لو عندنا ماس ميديالي عايزين نشيلها زي دي بنبوزيشن ذا بيشنت سوباين لازم نحط حاجه تحت الني بنحاول نفلكس الني اباوت 30 تو 60 ديجريز عشان نريلاكس الجاستروبنيمياس ودي حاجة مهمة في الابروتش هنا لأن هنا هيبقى عندكم الركبة ستريت يو هاف تو بوت سمثينج أندر ذا ني تو فليكس إت أوكي اللاند ماركس بتاعتنا الأد دكتور تيوبركل أنا هشاور بقى على الـ على الباور بوينت هنا والارتيكولار سيرفيس ودي التيبيا باتيلا واللاين أوف ذا لاترال أسبكت أوف ذا فيمر أوكي تاني الادكتور تيوبركل واحنا هنمشي بارلل تو ذا تندون اوف ذا ادكتور ماجنس ديب ذا سكشن لما نفتح هنخش في البلين اللي ما بين السارتورياس والفاستس ميدياليس ودايما لما بنفلكس الني السارتورياس بتند تو فول ا ليتل بيت بوستيريور فهيبقى سهل انك تخش في البلين اللي بينهم ورا السارتورياس هتلاقي التندون اوف ذا ادكتور ماجنس وهيبان عندك في اغلب الجوسس ذا ساندنج جينيكولار فيسلز لما بتوسع البلين ده بتشوف قدامك الفيمر كده بتبقى دي الحته اللي انت هتحط فيها الميديا البليت بتاعتك والفاسلز بتبقى 10 سم لفوق وهنوريكم في الـ في الـ في الكادافر بتبقى فين لو هنفتح الني هوريكم على الكادافر ده فيديو ممكن تشغل لي الفيديو ده فيديو للابروتش اتفرجوا عليه بعد كده هنديمونستريت الابروتش ده على الجثه بعد كده هنعمله على ال الفيديو ده موجود على الويب سايت بتاع الاي او and then you can extend this across the knee joint that I drew over here and you cross down there the pass and serine You can see here I did not extend my approach uh, distally because we wanted we open the fascia. Okay. Then one is going to retract the vastus medialis.
pleural artery. In real life, you should ligate these and tie them. You can all see the medial side of the femur here. Okay, we can see it on the perforators. If there are perforators in real life, we can ligate them. 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 Vertubular plate or a narrow DCP. And I'm, I'm dissecting posterior to the femur to show you where the vessels are. You can see this is another perforator. Another perforator. That in real life. Okay, so this is the femur. This is the postromedial aspect of the femur. So if you want to put an anti-glide plate, this is where you're going to put it. Now, I just dissected a little bit for you to see it. Postromedial the aspect. The vessels are posterior to the femur. Bundle. Adductor. We need joint تحت شوية عن مطرح ما الفاسس بيريس. لو هنفتح النيد جوينت عندنا two options. بعد ما نفتح السكين انسيجن يا نفتح انتيريور يا بوزيل بارت اوف ذا فيمر ميديالي ويل بي انف فور يو سو يو جست ديسكت ذا سكين اند سبكوتينيوس تيشوز انتيريورلي اند يو كان سي ذا ميديال بوردر اوف ذا باتيلا هير ماركت وذ بلو. ذيس از يور فاستس ميديالس ماسل. And this is where you want to do your anterior arthrotomy. And you open the medial patellar retinaculum. Okay. And and on here we will have to do the two approaches. So we are not going to do the two approaches. And I am just showing you the I'm just showing you the demonstration. We are not going to do the two approaches. So we are not going to do the two approaches. So we are not going to do the two approaches. Anterior capsulotomy. Can you all see this? If you need to reduce a part of the. So, this is your anterior capsulotomy. Posterior capsulotomy with a more posterior fracture. Distally, you can see here your pass and city tendons. Otomy should be somewhere here where we're going to retract. I have my knife now. And you can see your posterior capsulotomy. You see where you are. Your your pe you can see the capsulotomy here. And th okay, so you have two options for the ca capsulotomy: either the anterior one or the posterior one. In this cadaver lab, we will not go through this uh, knee part. If you want to do a capsulotomy, it will be uh, just the end the medial approach, part, and, and it will be very small. Okay? So now you know the indications, uh, you know the approach. I will show you a demonstration of how to do the approach on the cadaver, and then you will start doing it. تحت التربزات دي دي بتخليكوا تقدروا تحطوا الني في flexion عشان يبقى أسهل. Always when you operate, you have to draw your landmarks. Always you draw your landmarks. Never operate without drawing your landmarks. This saves times intraoperatively. You will find some difficulties in the cadavers. Some of them are a bit obese. Some of them are, uh, are uh, difficult.
Uh, now we will open our surgical incision. Well, I will need you to uh, retract for me, please. And I will not extend to the knee so as not to destroy the medial approach of the proximal tibia. You will find the fascia once you open skin and subcutaneous tissue. This patient is a little bit obese. You will see the fascia here. You split the fascia. Of course, when you're doing a femur, don't use small scissors like this. You need larger dissection scissors. These are suitable for the forearm and stuff like this. Periosteal elevator, then I could have periosteal elevator. This periosteal elevator is very useful. Uh, because it has, on, on this side, this is a sharp side, so you can use it as a scalpel. You can use this sharp side also as a pusher, and at the same time, it's blunt from this side. So once you open, you have your sartorius muscle going back there, and then you have your vastus medialis muscle here. And you can, you can recognize the vastus medialis from the direction of the fibers. Here you can see the direction of the fibers of the vastus medialis muscle. So I will dissect now, the, the sartorius is there because someone was asking me in the video, this is the sartorius muscle. And with the knee flex, the sartorius will automatically fall back. Uh, so now we dissect uh, here, uh, between the vastus medialis and the sartorius. And once you dissect the vastus medialis, you will see very, very easily, here is the medial aspect of the femur. I need a home and retractor where it is coming with a home and retractor. And this is the medial aspect of your femur. I don't think this is a difficult approach for anyone. Does anyone think this is a difficult approach? It's a very easy approach. We're all afraid to add the medial plate in distal femoral fractures. We're all afraid to approach a Hoffa fracture when this is the approach. So it's, it's uh, very simple. This is our, uh, the knee joint, as you can see here. This is the condyle. Here I'm, sup I'm, I'm suprapatellar in this part. So if you have a fracture of the of the condyles you will go there if you dissect here this is the medial aspect of the femur you can see it this is the genicular uh, vessels can can you see the genicular vessels on the video focus here please can you see the genicular vessels here they are okay you will find some perforators now you have this these 10 centimeters of the femur which are free for you to put um, uh, a plate or anything Okay, now we will dissect a little bit over the adductor magnus tendon here to show you the, the neurovascular bundle and its place. النور راح فين؟ عملت ايه؟ يا معلم ليه كده؟ انت كنت كويس؟ This patient is a bit fatty. Here I'm looking for the neurovascular bundle which will be somewhere there. Of course when you want to, uh, to do approaches like this, this is the neurovascular bundle of the patient. I will dissect uh, can I have a blunt? Why is it dark, Shabbat? Why? Why? What happened? Are you okay? Is there a lung and back retractor or a cob? Where is the cob that was in my hand? I had a cob in my hand. Please have a look here. Oh. 
ممكن ممكن نور في الجرح صح ممكن نور هنا نور اه Uh, can, can you see the vessels here? There is some fat over the vessels, but if you can... Can anyone see the vessels? Please hands up if you can see the vessels. Okay, some of you don't see the vessels over there. These are the vessels and this is where they pierce the adductor canal to go to the popliteal fossa. Can you see where this is? And this is the knee joint. So here are the vessels. You can, you can of course, on your cadaver, You can dissect a little bit over the vessels. This is the, the only time you will dissect over the vessels without, without being afraid. Because in real life you cannot do this. So you can see that the vessels are much posterior to the femur. And this is where you're going to put your plate. And the vessels are over there. So usually you have like one to two centimeters between both. Now I'm going to show you the, the incision to the knee. Just the anterior part so as not to destroy the medial approach of the, of the tibial plateau. Don't do this on your cadavers, except when you do the medial approach of the tibial plateau. Okay, please don't do this on your cadavers. I will just show you a demonstration of how easy it is. So now you are, uh, this is the patella. You can see the patella. This is the, the medial retinaculum. And here you can see the, the capsulotomy. Here you go, here you are intra-articular. Can you see the articular surface? This is your articular surface. Now you have an arthrotomy. If you want to see more of the articular surface, you just flex the knee a little bit more. Put an AO femoral distractor. Can the camera come from here? You can give the camera like this. Let's go this way. I hope Dini Langenbeck is Langenbeck. I hope now you can see the articular surface. Okay, you can see it. This is the prepatellar, this is the uh, fat pad. You can see here the articular surface and you can extend this. And this is the medial aspect of the femur. So actually you have a, a very, very uh, big part. Uh, for the posterior, you will. I don't want to destroy the, the cadaver for whoever is going to do the medial approach. But this is where you do your capsulotomy. In this part, you will do the posterior capsulotomy. The problem with the posterior capsulotomy, it shows you a very small window. So actually you cannot, you can just view this, this little part. If you want to see better from the posterior capsulotomy, you have to flex the knee to 90 degrees, reduce your fracture, make sure under C arm it's reduced, and then put um, headless screws into the articular surface or herbert screws. Okay? Can you see the picture from here? No, it's not. لا 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 بصوا يا شباب this is the this is the approach here you can see this is the medial aspect of the distal femur these are the vessels down there this is where the vessels pierce the adductor canal it's in this part you can see where my lung and back goes in and this is the intraarticular part okay so you can see actually intraarticular and the anterior aspect of the distal femur can you all see this okay go ahead now you do the approach <laughs> 